this black area where there is electronic skin on it. So if you take a look at the screen, when I, wherever I apply the pressure, you can see the colour gets lighter and that's where the pressure is higher. Our largest organ in our body is our skin and we need it to interact with the world around us. We need to be able to add this new perception of electronic skin in order for robotics to be able to coexist with humans and be able to assist the labour crunch. It will immediately remind me to fix my posture. So we're hoping that using this technology we can fix people's posture and hopefully it brings people back in. Most of the robotic systems, if you want to be able to pick up like a hundred objects, you have to train the robot to understand each of the hundred objects. But this robot isn't trained on the Milo packet, so it can understand exactly how to grasp it with the perfect strength without knowing what the Milo packet is and it's not going to make the Milo packet explode with its strength. With our system, we have ease can feel exactly the amount of forces required to be able to grip an object without any pre-training whatsoever. That speeds up the process of being able to change over goods without any massive delays. Seventy percent of our decisions are made through touch and feel. Physical information is not really comprehensible by AI right now. We are providing a way to record this information and provide the ability for AI systems to make decisions like humans do.